So in today's video, we are going to discuss what is graph and what are the types of graphs. So this video will be the first video of the entire graph series. So before moving on to the code part of the graph and the algorithmic part of it, we actually have to know what are graphs and what all different kinds of graph can we have and some important terms that are related to it. So let's so what is a graph? Now, if I talk about graph, it's basically a data structure, which has two components. I can say the first component is basically node. So this stuff is known as the node and you can also call it as a vertex. And this is the second component which connects two node or two vertex. This is known as the edge. Now, if I call this as U, and if I call this as a V, so you can say that there is an edge between U and V. Also, you can say that there is an edge between V and U. The only reason you can do that is because the edge is undirected. So whenever you have a set of vertexes, yes, whenever you have a pair of vertex which are connected by edges and you have such sets of vertex and if you represent them that is what is known as a graph like over here this node is connected to this node this node is connected to this node this node is connected to this and so on so you can see there are pairs of nodes which are connected by an edge so this will be a very high level definition of a graph now if i talk about what are the types of graph so the initial two types of graphs are undirected graph and directed graph so over here you can see that the graph where the edges do not have any direction. So I can say there is an edge between U, V, whereas I can also say there is an edge between V and U. So the edges are basically undirected. So such kind of graph is known as an undirected graph. Now what about a directed graph? Now over here we also call these things as node and these things as edges. The only difference we do is we call them as directed edges, yes. And that is the reason the name goes as directed graph. If you carefully observe, if I call this as U and call this as V, then we can only write there is an edge between U and V. And we cannot write the other thing that there is an edge between V and U. That's wrong. So that is what directed graph is when the edges are directed. That means you can only go from U to V and you cannot come back. Yes, there might be graphs where you will have such kind of things like there is an edge between U and V and there is also an edge between V and U. But that doesn't mean that this is an undirected edge. No, this is still a directed edge. Only difference is there are two edges over here. So that's the initial stuff that is undirected and directed graph. Now let's talk about two different things that is in degree and the out degree of the graph. So now let's talk about the degrees of a graph. Now in an undirected graph, we have degree, yes. So let's consider this vertex 2. So I can say that the degree of this vertex 2 is 3. Now what is degree? The number of edges that are incoming or outgoing in a graph. Now since it is an undirected graph, we cannot say that the degree is incoming or outgoing. So that is why we count what is the number of edges connected to it. So this is the first edge, this is the second edge, this is the third edge. So I can say that the degree of the vertex 2 is 3 over here. Now if, uh, so there is a property in undirected graph that the total degree of all the nodes, yes, the total degree of all the nodes is basically twice of all the edges. So if I keep a count for this node, the degree is 2, for this node, the degree is 2, for this node, the degree is 3. For this node, the degree is 2. For this node, the degree is 3. I hope you understand because 1, 2, 3. For this, 1, 2. So if I sum it up, it's going to be 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. So the number of edges, if you carefully observe, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 into 6 is actually 12. So the total number of degrees of all the nodes will be equivalent to 2 into edges. So that's the property for undirected graph. So now let's talk about the directed graph. Now in a directed graph, there are either incoming edges 
or there are outgoing edges like for this node you can say that this edge is an incoming edge whereas this edge is an outgoing edge because it is going outwards so let's take this example 2 so i can say that the in degree of this node 2 will be 2 why because this is the one incoming and this is the other one that's incoming to the 2 while the out degree means the edges that are going outside so i can say this is the first edge that is going outside while this is the second edge that is going outside so the in degree and the out degree of the node 2 can be written as 2 and 2 respectively now let's talk about the next term that is path in a graph so what is a path so if i talk in an undirected graph a path is basically a sequence of nodes or vertex such that none of the nodes are repeating or visited twice in that path like i can write a path as one two three this can be one of my paths like i go to one i go to two i go to three again a path can be one two because i'm still moving while i cannot say a path to be one two three two because the vertex two appears twice in a path you cannot visit a node more than once so that is this plain definition of a path for an undirected graph now what about a path in a directed graph again the same stuff but you just need to be very careful like you have to move from 1 to 5 because there is an edge from 1 to 5 you cannot move from 5 to 1 so that is the key point over here you can have a path like 1 5 4 again you can have a path like 1 2 3 and there can be multiple paths in a graph so that is the basic definition of a path now we can also call this graph as an undirected cyclic graph why because you can see if you start from one you can again reach back one via some other path so that means there is a cycle in this graph similarly i can say if i start from five i can again reach back to five or if i start from three so if there is a cycle in an undirected graph we can call that as an undirected cyclic graph now what about undirected acyclic graph so in that case you can call this as an undirected acyclic graph so this can also be called as a tree that that depends on you but you can also call this as an undirected acyclic graph because there is no cycle in this now what will you call this i can see a cycle over here yes if i carefully observe from 1 to 5, 5 to 4, 4 to 2 and then a 2 to 1. So I can say there is a cycle in this directed graph. So this is a directed cyclic graph. But what if I say that this edge is not there. If I just remove this edge and I ask you is there a cycle in this graph. So your answer to that will be no. Because you can try out. You can start from 1, 5, 4, 2 but you cannot come back to 1. So there is no cycle over here. Similarly, you can start from 2 to 3, but you cannot go ahead. There is no cycle over here too. So there is no cycle in this case. So this is known as directed acyclic graph, which is commonly known as DAG. And you're going to hear this name as you go forward in the graph series. So coming to the last type of graph. So I can say that what if the edges are having some weights? So assume that I add a weight 2 3 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 1 so i can say all the edges are having weights yes that means the edge between 1 and 2 is having a weight 2 now these kind of graphs are called as weighted undirected graphs now in most of the questions you might be given the weight of the edges and just in case if you are not given the weight of the edges and there is a problem where you have to consider weights so do assume that there the edges are of unit weight if the weights are not given and you are having to solve a problem where weights are necessary so you can assume that the weights are unit weight so i hope you understood what is graph what are the types of graph and everything so just in case you did please do not forget to hit that like button and if you are new to our channel please 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 do subscribe to our channel and in the next video we will be discussing how to represent the graph in c++ as well as java so yeah let's move to the next video
spoken